Hello and welcome to the Alex Zane famed Brain Game. Nice to see you. Yes, it is. This is the show <laughs> where a brain of renown can make you frown. It's the show where a celeb can outthink a pleb. It's the show where your brain can go lame up against their fame. Let's meet today's contestant. I'm Nick Huggins and I'm from Farnham in Surrey. My name's Michael and I'm from Croydon. My name's Noel Turner and I'm from the Isle of Wight. We're going to be starting you off with a prize fund of £1,000. We're then going to invite today's star guest in to answer questions. For every question they answer correctly, they steal £200 of your prize fund. Time to give the wheel a spin and see who it's going to be. You've got the cheeky girls. Lucky you. Probably going to make some money on this round. <laughs> girls, if you'd like to enter the mental arena. Hello, Gabriella. Hello. Hello, Monica. Hello. And how are your brains today? I think our brains are very cheeky today. <laughs> Nick, for every correct answer you give me, you make £200. But for every correct answer you give me, cheeky girls, you steal £200 from Nick's prize fund. Buzz in when you know the answer. With which sport is Andy the Viking Fordham associated? It's a pub sport using a board. Nick, or darts. Darts is the right answer. What type of animal is a whale? It's a fish. The correct answer is mammal. What is the chemical name for table salt? No. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride straight in there, no. Well done. The Maastricht Treaty entered into force on which exact date? Cheeky girls. 1st of November, 1993. Is the right answer. <laughs> when you first steal and taken £200 from Nick's prize fund, which philosopher was known to have said, a flatterer is a friend who is... Is it Aristotle? Uh, Aristotle is the right answer. <laughs> £200 taken from Noel. The besiegement of Stirling Castle in 1314 led to which two-day battle between the English and the Scots? Need to get back to the game, Nick. Oh, it's the cheeky girls. It's uh, the Battle of Bannockburn. The Battle of Bannockburn is the right answer. <laughs> Getting stung here for quite a lot of money from the cheeky girls. In maths, what is pi to six decimal places? Oh, my. 3.16. Two, four. I can hand it uh, over to the cheeky girls. Three point one, uh -huh. four, one, five, <laughs> nine, uh, two, six, five. Ooh, yeah, to six decimal places uh, is all I needed. Well done, girls. <laughs> what was the approximate speed of the Shoemaker Levy Nine comet when it collided with the planet Jupiter? <laughs> Is it 60 kilometres per second? That's the answer. Uh, <laughs> and that is time up. How do you think the cheeky girls have fared so far? Very good, actually. A lot, a lot better than I would have, would have first thought. Thank you. What are you trying to say? Oh, no, 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 I just, I just generally, your history knowledge was very good. Thank you. Nick, an opportunity to win back everything in this last round. I'm going to display a famous phrase or name with a word missing. You simply have to write down what that word is. If you both write down the same word, Nick takes away £2,600. <laughs> Blank Potter and the Goblet of Fire. What have you got written? Harry. Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. On the count of three girls for £2,600 for Nick here. Two, one, what have you got? It's so, Dennis. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, you going to be kidding me? Dennis Potter and the Goblet of Fire is not the same as what Nick has. He walks away with nothing. Uh, why have you gone for Dennis? Well, uh, the questions which Potter asked of religion, class and morality in a post-war Britain, coupled with his intelligent use of popular music, <laughs> makes him one of your country's most important playwriters. And he's very big in Transylvania. There are no winners on the show today. So Mike, you all right? We'll see you next time for more fun on Alex Zane's Fame Brain Game. Bye-bye. If you could just wave at this camera, over here is the credits roll. Girls, if you step off the stage, this is Nick's moment. <laughs>